Hey guys, Appalachian Knife Reviews back with a brand new video. I've got some more out of my Civivi collection. These are the Appalachian Drifters. Obviously with a channel name like Appalachian Knife Reviews, you know I gotta have the Appalachian Drifters. Uh, the big difference in these knives are the locking mechanism, or the lack thereof on one of these knives. Uh, we're not gonna get into the handle material, blade steel, or anything like that. I just wanna show you the two, show you the difference as far as the locking mechanism. And you can take a look at the rest of it. Uh, we'll put a link down in the description for the knife. See if you want to pick one up. If they're still available. So this one is the Appalachian Drifter. Now I'm going to tell you guys. I am not real good at rolling these. The uh, the top. The top roll. What are they called? Front. It's not even a, this one's not even a front flipper really. It's at the top. That one's a little bit hard for me. So here's the knife fantastic little knife it's probably my blood on it <laughs> uh, i have not cut myself today knock on wood um fantastic little knife um however it is a liner lock so when you go to close it that's it there's your lock right there so see if you can hear this uh, you can't really even hear the lock but I'm not a real big fan of liner lock, or the, the slip joints rather. It's not a liner lock, slip joint. This one is a liner lock, this one's a slip joint. I got my, my words all messed up today. Um, so this one is a slip joint, and I'm not a real big fan of slip joints. Um, that's all I carried basically as a kid. You know, when I was little I had the Case X that had the three blades on it, and they were fantastic knives for what they were. Only thing I used them for was skinning squirrels or uh, whittling on sticks. Um, but as I got to be an adult, you know, working on something and it come down, I just, my digits are too important to me. So I don't typically use these. This is not one I carry um, because it's a slip joint. Now, I'm not saying anything's bad about Civivi slip joint. That's my personal preference. Uh, drop, you know, let me know down in the comments if you like the slip joints, if you carry one. Uh, let me know what you think about them. Uh, tell me that I'm crazy for, for not trusting them. Um, but you know, that's just my personal preference. Then obviously the Appalachian Drifter 2 does, see if we can get it to focus here, does have a lock on it. It has a liner lock. Now again, this one, I'm not real good flipping these. I know y'all are probably laughing. There we go. I seen, um, on, uh, one of the channels, I believe it was Knife Center, the guy from Kaiser, told somebody said if you have trouble with that kind um uh look away and go to flip it open and you can do it and sometimes that works sometimes it doesn't um but yeah see this one has a liner lock so it's not it's not going to close down on you unless you hit the liner so it's that there we go and i was looking away when i did that and it worked just fine so that's your big differences between the two i really like how this handle looks so you've got like the micarta and then the carbon up here on the top. And I can't remember if it's real carbon or not. I believe that it is. Uh, but you've got the micarta that almost off camera, it's like a bl light black, almost gray color. And then of course you have the carbon fiber at the top. Great little knife. Great for, you know, I don't want to call it a gentleman's knife because typically, you know, something like this is not a gentleman's knife. But this would be a great gift for someone that doesn't really have a knife. Fantastic pocket knife, you know, to carry. You can use this for peeling apples or cutting up an apple or even opening boxes. Um, I'm sure that it would work on more heavy-duty use. I mean, you could probably use this to skin out a deer. Um, it's not something I would typically use one like this for, but I think it would work great for it. But I think it would be perfect for, you know, having in the in the knife for whittling on a stick or just, you know, like I said, peeling an apple and something like that. Something you don't want to get real, real dirty. Because um, I think it would be fantastic for that. But that's it. That's the difference between the Appalachian Drifter 1 the Appalachian Drifter 2. Obviously, your tabs are a little bit different because the knives are, you know, one's a newer generation than the other. Um, and then, of course, you've got the slip joint and the liner lock. Uh, if you guys like what I'm doing here on the channel, it'd be appreciated if you hit that like button. And if you have not done so yet always always appreciate anybody that hits that subscribe button i hope this video helped you guys in some way and i hope to see you in the next one